As part of our catfish fish formulation video series, today I'm here with an awesome video. There was a saying in commercial fish farming industry which says, be a feeder, not a dumper. One of the major challenges most fish farmers are facing is how to effectively feed their fish without deteriorating the water quality. So, our today's topic is how much feed do you need to give your fish per day? If this is something you are interested to know, make sure you stay to me to the end of this video. Also consider subscribing to this channel, share this video, and comment this keyword, fish feed, in the comment of this video if you need my own fish feed formula. Also check the link in the description of this video and download my very own feed formulation blueprint I am using to achieve this result you are seeing on the screen. Okay, let's dive into the truth. You see, as a fish farmer who is expecting to make profits during harvest or after selling his fish, you must have to understand that overfeeding or underfeeding your fish have a serious impact, not only on the water quality, but to the growth performance, leading to poor feed utilization and also expose the fishes to various diseases. It is very important as a fish farmer to know that the right quantity of feed to give your fish every day so as not to pollute the water so as not to deteriorate the water quality in today's video i'm going to show you a simple guide on how to determine the amount of feed to give your fish per day this video today is going to help you curtail the problem of both overfeeding and underfeeding your fish to avoid poor growth of your fishes you must understand that the amount of feed that is the quantity of feed is dependent on the fish body weight in this video we are going to look at three major aspects to help us know the right amount of feed to give our fishes one average fish size if you don't know how to calculate average fish size or you don't know how to calculate or to determine average fish size look at our previous video that is our cut feed formulation part three because this is the part four of the video series Secondly, we must have to understand the feeding rate. Thirdly, we must have to understand the total number of fish in the pond. Now, these three parameters will give us an insight on how to calculate the amount or the right amount of feed to give our fish every day. But before you continue, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment fish feed in the comment section. And also head over to the description of this video and download our catfish formulation blueprint now how do we determine the average fish size average fish size can be determined by taking a random sample from the pond that is you take some sample of the fish from the pond and measure the weight of those particular sample you took and divide the measured weight that is of those particular sample by the total number of the sample fish so now if you, for example, you have 20 fish, 20 fish were randomly selected as a sample from the pond and they are weighed 5 kg. Now divide 5 kg by 20. Now you have what? 0 0.25 kg or 250 grams as your average fish size. Now we have average fish size. In our own example to be 0 0.25 kg or 250 grams okay now let's look at the feeding rate how do we calculate the feeding rate now the feeding rate is the percentage of the fish average body weight and we have some recommended values for that for newly hatched fry you have six to ten percent body weight for fingerlings, you have 2 to 5 percent body weight. For brute fish, you have 1 to 2 percent body weight. For us to come with a single number of the feeding rate, because this is these values are range 6 to 10 percent, 2 to 5 percent, 1 to 2 percent, they are range. So we must have to have a single average value. And then how do we determine that? Now, what do I mean by a single value? For the newly hatched fry, for example, you have 6 to 10%. 6 to 10% is a range of numbers. So now to get the feeding rate, you must have to take the mean. And then the mean will be at 6 plus 
what is in between 6 and 10 we have 7 8 9 and then the 10 now when you sum all this you have 40 so now divide by the total number in the range the total number in the range is 5 meaning 6 that is one number 7 2 and then 8 that is 3 number 9 4 and then 10 that is 5 now feeding rate for the newly hatched fry is 8 percent body weight okay so now when you have this isn't it because what we are trying to look at is that we are trying to take the mean when you take the mean now you divide it so divide by the total number in the range that is 5 that is 40 divided by 5 now you have 8 percent body rate so now let's look at the calculation so this calculation is the calculation that we are targeting to achieve at the end of this video series that is to calculate or to know the exact number of feet or the exact quantity of feet we need to measure in order to give our own fishes every day so after measuring this particular quantity you may decide to divide it into two if you are on twice daily uh, feeding frequency that is you divide it into two you give in the morning and in the evening okay I brought to you a simple example that you can be able to understand when it comes to the calculation of the right quantity of feed you're supposed to give your fish. So the example I took here, now for example, I said if an African catfish of 5 grams required a ratio of 8% of its body weight, how much feed should it be given per day? Here I have a simple solution for you. I said the amount of feed to be fed per day will now be equal to average fish that is the average uh, weight of the fish or the average fish size multiplied by the feeding rate but remember the feeding rate is in percentage so now that feeding rate must be divided by 100 since we are dealing with percentage so now we have 5 multiplied by 8 all over 100 that 8 is the uh, body weight. So now we have 0 0.4 grams. So that is the amount of feed to be fed per day for a single African catfish of 8% body weight and with an average uh, size of 5 grams. So now for you to know the exact or the quantity of feed to fed your uh, number of fish in the pond you must have to multiply this 0 0.4 grams by the total number of fish in the pond for example you are dealing with 1000 fish so now you have 0 0.4 multiplied by 1000 now you have 400 gram of feed should be given to them that it should be given to 1000 fish so this is exactly how you can go about calculating the exact quantity of feed to give your fish in order to avoid that particular challenging of uh, overfeeding or underfeeding your fish to an extent that you can go and deteriorate the water quality wherever you have so many issues arising in your farm such as exposure to diseases and then a lot of things uh, such as mortalities also can also be experienced when there is a deterioration in the water quality so for you to avoid this you must have to understand your fish that is the number one aspect that is the number one habit of each and every successful fish farmer. So now this is how to calculate the right amount of feed to be given per day to a number of fish. Watch out for the next video series. Download our catfish feed formulation blueprint in the description of this video. Have a nice day.